the headquarters of the NGO Memorial in Grozny. Natalia Estimarova had a meeting with the team from France 24 at 8 on Thursday morning. She'd agreed to give an interview. Time passed, but Estimarova did not turn up. Her phone did not answer. Colleagues sounded the alarm after a few hours. We've managed to find a witness who told us that Natalia left her home at around half past eight. A car approached and she was pushed inside. Estimarova lived in this building. She left it to go to the interview, but strangers were waiting for her. It's one of the most densely populated parts of Grozny. The street's always full of people. But curiously, no one remembers the number plate of the vehicle that took Estimarova away. And no one has come forward as an official witness to the kidnapping. You can't rule out the possibility that the authorities could be behind Natalia's murder. Esteremova was the only person telling the truth without bearing in mind the consequences of her words. The activist was the only person investigating kidnappings and executions of relatives of Chechen separatists, crimes imputed to employees of Chechen President Ranzam Kadyrov. That was the subject of the interview. They want to force us to only give positive information. We talk instead about people's rights. No Chechen government official attended Estimarova's funeral. Her name now is added to the long list of human rights activists killed or kidnapped in Russia, a list she maintained as part of her job.